What's up guys, Mike BAK Phony, this is Indie Before Breakfast. Today I have a game called Chasm, and I am very, very, very pleased, pleased to get my hands on this thing early. Now, uh, this game is going out on Kickstarter today, so please feel free to click on that link below to check it out. Probably more information in there as well as some gameplay and all that. Obviously, I'm gonna go through and play this for you, but real quick, some background. Discord Games, I did a game on Indie for Breakfast on, uh, on their game 48 Chambers, Months and months of probably like the, the beginning of the series. Uh, and it was a game that was available for Xbox Live Indie Game Markets as well as as Windows. Now uh, that game is nothing like this at all, but it was good. It was one of those games I was like, you know, what? I like the flavor of this. I like the uh, I like how this game plays. I'm gonna follow this guy on Twitter, and so I did. Followed him on Twitter, and he started tweeting uh, screenshots and such of this game. The second he started tw uh, talking about this game, just little bits of information, this is like a few months ago, or several months ago, I was all over his nuts. I'm not gonna lie, I was all over it because it has all of these elements from various games that are various genres and games and styles that I, I cannot wait to see it fully implemented into a single title. <sighs> Let's go and take a look at it though, right? I'll, I'll, I'll talk some more while we play, how's that? After years of battle in distant lands, a wary soldier now journeys home. The lingering thoughts of his friends and family only seem to make the trip more arduous. As he enters the remote mining town of Carthus, an ominous chill overcomes him. Alright. So, controls, basic, jump, punch, punch. Alright, B to punch, X punch, I'll take it. Uh, and then, of course, movement and all that. Let's see, nothing else seems to do anything just yet, but there's no duplicates. So I'm hitting the bumpers and the triggers. And moving the right stick, clicking, all that stuff. There's no duplicate actions, which means those will probably unfold into things that you could use later on. I'm guessing with it being a, uh, a Metroidvania style uh, game, Fact Sanadu, uh, obviously Castlevania, um, uh, Adventure of Link, being a, that kind of style of game, that style of game, it's, it's definitely not something that will probably need to have 16 buttons. Let's see what she has to say. Ah, so you finally arrived. I have. Is that it? That is it. All right. Thank you, lady. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Hit B button. B button. Hey, I'm on. The, I'm on a roof. I was not expecting that. And I can roll, tumble, tumble. Okay. Can I jump down from this layer? No, I can't. Just pushing down and roll and jumping is to tumble here. Uh, hello there, lad. You must be new in town. You should talk to the mine manager down the way. I'm sure he'll be happy to see a new face. All right. What can I buy from you? Lots of stuff. I only have 13 gold. I'm pretty broke. Okay, let's go ahead and leave. <laughs> Can't talk to the well. Okay, that's unfortunate. Ah, oh, bouncy young lady here to see. Uh, well, hello there. After you get yourself warmed up, you should go next door and meet the mine manager. Okay, yeah, sure. I guess I'll meet the mine manager. Just as soon as I see what's in this box. Awesome. Okay, wait, what did I just do? Okay. Is a locker that I can store stuff in? Oh my gosh. Does this mean that any locker can be my my personal storage unit? That is awesome. So for those of you guys who don't know, it, it, this is a procedurally generated dungeon crawler slash adventure slash metroidvania uh, type game. <laughs> it's, it is definitely... Um, it's definitely something that uh, there's no save, right? It's just a quick game. I'm willing to bet if I were to quit the game, I'd be done. I do not know, however, what, hap uh, what happens if you die. We'll find that out very shortly. I'm guessing when you die, you go back to the main menu. That seems pretty legit. But there's a lot of story here, so I don't know if that's necessarily the case. Who knows? It's The thing is, the game is far from released. Well, it's it's not released yet, so uh, things can change later on. And we don't even know what we're getting into. So welcome to Carthus, stranger. You've arrived at a bad time, unfortunately. Not just two days ago, that stranger showed up outside of town and then a quake hit. The miners never returned after the quake, and no one has been able to leave since to go for help. Can't explain it, you just end up walking in circles. Interesting. There was talk of a discovery in the mines before the quake, but I never got to a straight answer from any of them. Seems like a good place to start to me, alright? But first, you better find yourself a weapon. Those mine rats are nasty critters. Try and find something in town to defend yourself with. I'm guessing that was the thing I picked up, which I did not equip, so let's equip it. Wow. It's... It's so... Intuitive it just naturally happens like it's you just you know how to use this system already if you've played any metroidvania style game You already know how to play this game Looks like you're all set the miners are working in one of the passages in the second shelf last I heard 
Uh, second, okay, second floor. Uh, take this key to the entrance and head on down. I'm guessing since we're going down into uh, a cavern or mine shaft, the second floor is gonna be down further. See, now remember to report back as soon as you find anything out, but be careful down there. Who knows what you run into? All right, thank you. What can you sell me? Nothing, all right. And that's it right there. What else is over here, though? Oh, he did say he goes in circles, didn't he? I'll be damned. Yep. Wow. I'll just assume that that's the other side of this. This wow. It's good. He followed through on the story. Flashy thingy. Look at blades. Oh, must be an item I can actually use. Hey. Hey, hey. That makes me the king of blades. All right. Now oh, we have rats. I actually, I didn't get my my emotions set up yet. Hold on a minute. Jump, right, jump, or you know, roll. Got that one squared away. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, all right. Good. Make my money back on those guys. Okay, well, I guess they know how to duck. That's a, that's a big guy right there. Uh, oh, don't get away. Come on, come closer. And one thing you guys can't see, uh, unfortunately, is how well this, thing, how smooth this thing is, and how how tight the gameplay is. At no point during my gameplay session here can I say, "Uh, well, the controllers are a little soft. They're a little soggy." No, I can't say that. This is definitely, it's definitely tight. If anything, it'll be a mechanic that I don't understand yet, and I'm sure we're gonna run into plenty of those. Oh. Come on, do something. Good. Money. 18. Boy, I'm loaded. Oh, is that a monster spawner? It is. It is indeed. What are these things? Oh! And then I see an exploding barrel over there. Or box, rather. Let's see. You feel open to learning. Okay, it's, uh, it's slowly moving down. Yes, it is. Okay. And everything respawned. Awesome. That's exactly what I want to see. Everything I just slaughtered is back. Oh, oh it's, it's more XP. That's what it is. Bonus XP. Bonus XP. Limited time only. That's what it is. Open to learning. It makes sense. I figured it'd be bonus mana. Or it might still be. Actually, it might be bonus mana. Maybe it was just a coincidence that I happened to level right there. Let's see. There's still a bunch of these things around. Nah, I was always getting it back, though. Oh! Woo! Woo! A bandana, what? Oh, two bandanas. And what did it give me? <laughs> you should actually look at that stuff. Uh, taking it off over. Okay, so it gave me one defense. I had no defense on my head for that. So, good. And uh, Apple restores uh, value five. Weight. It's a weight based carry system. Awesome. A loaf of bread restores a lot. A lot more than I need to restore right now. Okay, there's nothing in here. Any particular reason why I would come in here? Bonus XP. At least I hope that's what that book's for. It's probably just bonus mana. And it's just a fluke, straight up fluke, random, that I, uh... I happen to level right there. Oh, is that something I can pick up? No, okay. Just in case. Let's just hurry up and kill everything. Come on, die, fat rat! Ah, it was bonus mana. We'll just take it like that. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, sure. We'll just we'll just say it is. I don't see numbers flying off these guys when I kill them. Or maybe I'm missing out. Oh. Terrible jump. Just damage numbers. Nothing indicates, uh. Oh, come on. Nothing indicates uh, how much... Really? There's nothing in here. Well, I'm not on the second floor, so I need to go down one. Critical hit! That's kind of nice. Also means there's another stat that I'm going to have to maintain and manage. And everything's back! Oh, too much too much risk. Oh. Aww. Oh, that money's gone. 
Now, can I roll past mobs, I wonder? Oh, that money's gone, too. Damn. Okay, let's go ahead and eat, uh, eat an apple. Or two. And keep moving. That takes me up upstairs. How much gold do I have? Probably not enough to do anything with. 70, okay. I can't really reach that guy. So, it's procedurally generated. That's a lot of things crawling on the ground to kill. There, there we go, okay. This looked worse than it was. Ah, it's because there's a spawner right here. Dang, awesome. Do I get stronger when I level? Strength 4, int 4, lock attack, defense. My defense doesn't go up. Hmm. I wonder what elements are actually based off of uh, leveling, which ones are not. We'll have to remember that. So, 4, 4, 4, 3. All right. No, not yet, not yet. Every last coin. So yeah, I wonder to what extent are these levels uh, procedurally generated? Like, is it giant tile sets? Like, this area that I'm in? Is it one gigantic tile set? Or one tile, I should say? Oh, there's a giant exploding box there. Let's see if I could... Beautiful. Eh, a little bit of gold. Um... And whatever it attaches to, is this going to be what's randomly generated, like the next area? Or is each individual, like this path right here, is one piece of a tile set, right? One tile, and then the next area, like this over here, this to make this jump, this is now a different tile. And that's all, like, kind of mixed up. I can see that being a pain in the ass to, to manage, but I'm kind of curious what the, uh, what to what extent we're talking here. Right now, I'm just stabbing rats. And blowing them up, too, I guess. Oh, what bananas? Ugh! Man, bananas and bandanas! I'm getting all kinds of sacrificial knife. What? Scroll of reveal. Hey, that'll take care of everything, actually, in this area. Sacrificial knife gives me, uh... Wow! That is quite the boost. And no loss, either. Inventory. Scroll of reveal will tell me everything I need to know about the area, but I don't, don't need that yet. Coffee gets 15. Let's see. And it was pretty handy. 30 for poisoning. Is the uh, the blinking area? Which one is me? I see an S. Let's see. Ah, okay. The blinking area is me. And that S in the the left corner. I got that already, didn't I? Sure! <laughs> of course I did. Ah, damn it. Chunky rat. Chunky swamp rat! Or I guess rather mine. Ah, here we go. We go down. Now, this being a, uh, a very, very early preview uh, copy of the game, thank you very much for, uh, for sending that to me. Discord games. Uh, I think we're missing a couple options here that might come in handy, but I could be wrong. We could be wrong. Let's see, push other buttons. So map. Okay, quick button to the map. That's good. Nope. Okay. Just look at it's. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I'll lower the music a little bit so they've been down here for a while. Might kind of nice. <laughs> I I know this song. I should go ahead and just turn it off now. Uh, I see bats at the top. Hey, all right. Well, that was easy. I can't shoot down. Nah. That's what I'll do. I almost want to blow it up. As if, oh! Like, I I have to do it. Okay, I hit that guy kind of hard. Didn't I? Come on, come on, back. Come on. Come on. Oh. Ah, he moves up when I jump. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. It's, that's, that's totally a Castlevania thing. It's like, it will come to you. Just be patient. No, don't throw the money in the pit. Ah. And you know what? I should probably not throw the money in the pit myself. That was totally my fault. Oh, jeez. Damn it. Okay. Patience, patience, patience. Okay, how do I... I guess no matter what, it was going to go in the pit, so... I 
can one-shot these guys now, can't I? Come on, rat, let's go! Master Splinter, uh! Okay, that guy, wow, fast. Whoa, 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 new guy, new guy, new guy, hello. Okay, those only do one damage. I don't think that's enough. Let's go ahead and see. 20 HP. Let's go to the apple. Uh, banana does five. Perfect. Perfect, that's all I need. Do you have any equipment that I picked up? Maybe I missed another stone knife. Nah, I'm good. And a bonus bandana in case I lose durability on the one, which does not exist. Well, that was... <laughs> that's no oh, God! It's a geode monster! No! I think it was literally like a rock with, like, gummy bottoms. <laughs> with gummy shoes bouncing around. A hamburger! What? Okay, now we're getting into Bioshock territory here. Oh, uh, what's inside of this rotting carcass? Oh, hey, look, a steak! Sweet! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come at this, sir. Thank you. I'm just gonna continue moving, because I know that there's someone down here I'm supposed to. Oh, see, ouch! Okay, the monster spawner does damage. All right. Ooh, man. Can I just use the lower elevation trick there? I should try it again. Oh. Oh, interesting. And also very interesting that I almost, oh, lost my stuff right there. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll heal up afterwards. Ah, uh, let's go next. Let's go to heal up. I don't want to die just yet. Bread, coffee reveals a lot or gives a lot. So don't necessarily need that. Another banana, sure. Okay, perfect. We're good. Let's see what's in here. Lots more stuff and a turkey leg. <laughs> Why would I want that? Uh, okay, since so I'm getting so many of these um these push these scroll of reveals uh two. I'm willing to bet that it is something that that only reveals this one level, not the entire area. Which would make sense for a, a dungeon crawler. Oh. Wow, there was something just to the right over there. I don't know what the F means, but it's a lot of things to fight through. <sighs> We're gonna have to do it. We have to do it. At least we know that, that the top route is actually a dead end, so that's good to know. How close am I leveling here? 90, okay. Okay. Clean up. I'm rich now. Dang, 227. Loaded! Okay, hold on a second. Uh, yeah, this is the part where I can go down. Uh, which I could probably knock that one out at least. Maybe it might get, might get something handy out of it. Damn it. Them bats! Whoa! No! Oh! <laughs> no! Did I lose my... Oh, I just start over? Damn. All right. Well, that was the B, right? Was, wasn't that a B for beast? Yeah. Now I'm back to level one. All right. So that's a short preview. Uh, here's what I'm going to do, actually. Uh... I'm gonna play through it again, but not not just yet. Um, obviously, it's short. I, I, I'll I'll do my best to avoid the next time around. I, I want to put this out because it has all my first impressions and everything. I don't want to start over here and play again from scratch. I think that's good enough. We got the gist of the game. We know how it plays. We understand that there's a loot system. I could have come. Kind of, I could have come back to the surface, um, in order to dig up more, uh, or to, to get more stuff, more gear. But what I'll do is I'll play this again sometime uh, here in the next few days and post one more time, just like a follow-up, because I do want I do want to give it another shot and check it out, uh, maybe because I want to play it again. Um, I feel like we've met we met the beast too soon. Bit of a shocker there. I was about to light him up too, man. I would be like, well, not with that, but my my blades, my throwing blades, King of Blades ability number one. But I think we're good. This game, like I said, is called Chasm 
It's available, uh, well, it's available for Kickstarter. And it's also on Greenlight, by the way. I'll put that link down below as well. Please go and upload it. You guys, you guys have, you guys can't see how smooth it runs. You guys can't feel how, re how, just how responsive the controls are. Um, it is, it plays just like you would expect uh, a, it plays better than Adventure, the Adventures of Link. Like, honestly, that didn't really play all that great. Some of you guys know, like when you're kneeling to stab and all that stuff, it, would just, it just was not quite as tight as you'd expect it. Um, definitely plays a bit more modern, uh, more like Strider uh, for Nintendo, uh, if that's a good example. But obviously with all the dungeon crawler elements. So this is what I was talking about. It's like all, all of these things that I love. I love dungeon crawlers. I love platformers. I love adventure games. I love this stuff. And it's all rolled up into one. Uh, I, I think the art style is great too. They did a great job on it. And I am looking forward to more. So I'm going to give this another whirl here in the next few days. You guys will see that pop up. But uh, please, please go and check this game out. And you can follow uh, Discord Games uh, on their Twitter, which I believe is just straight up Discord Games. At Discord Games. I'm going to double check that for you really quick right now. Don't usually promote their Twitters. Yep, it is James Petruzzi at Discord Games. Go and check that out. It's Mike BAK Phony. This game called Chasm. Indeed, before breakfast, it's locked.